Hi, good evening everyone. Um, today we're going to do a simple tutorial on how we can ingest a video, video with audio inside a Google Meeting. Uh, Google Meets now has increased capacity for 250,000 uh, participants and it has the ability to share screen, share video, uh, do a lot more with it. <clears throat> it has the ability to record your meetings as well. So it has lots of improvements uh, that come along with uh, Google Meets 3.0 or, or 4.0, whichever way you want to look at it. Now, for this to work, <coughs> we need to only use the Google Chrome browser, which is native uh, for Google applications. Um, firstly, uh, the three components regards to putting a video and an audio inside a Google Meeting. Uh, the first thing you need to understand is Google works with casting rather than screen sharing. So casting here refers to as you understand uh, you've seen the Google Chromecast uh, hardware in the shops so it's basically that <laughs> using a casting technology. Now um, and the second second component uh, first component is a casting the second component is the event so we need to set up an event where uh, with that event we will set up a Google meeting and we will share uh, the event in that meeting with the video. So let's start, uh, let's start the uh, tutorial right now. Uh, first things first, let's uh, visit uh, the, uh, the video site which we want to uh, transmit to, um, to the Google meeting. So here we have the standard YouTube page. Uh, I'm just going to pick a random uh, YouTube video and um, for instance um, uh, let's pick up uh, something like uh, the news here Google this uh, MSNBC news we want to put it inside uh, the so I'm going to pause this video for a while and then now after setting up the video now before we, we proceed we want to make sure we have the casting icon ready to go now if you go on the top corner here the three dots you hit the three dots, make sure you click on the casting list in the menu. Once you click casting, you notice the casting button comes up there. Right click on it and ensure that it's always showing. So once that's done, that's the first step you, the first step you have done. The next step is to actually visit uh, the Google Meeting uh, site. So open up a brand new tab and go in here. Now I've got the nine icons there. The nine dots tells me to go into my apps. I've got my meeting app there. I'm going to set up a meeting which I've already done before. So if you notice, there is a meeting ready to go. Now, just to repeat again, uh, how I get that demo video casting Google Meets. So typically, uh, inside your Google Calendar, you can set up your meeting. So you go to Google Calendar. I already set it up, so I'm going to soon show you exactly how it's done. So in your Google Meeting, Right. I'm going to delete the, the meeting which I created earlier and then um, I'll show you how it's done now. It's going to end anyway. So I'm going to click on the meeting. I'm going to right click on the meeting and that should pop up with the delete button. Come on. Yep. So I'm going to delete my meeting and then now I'm going to add another meeting. Right. And I'm going to call this demo. Oops demo uh, Google Meets with video and audio ingest. So this will ingest the video and audio in YouTube inside the meeting. So I'm going to save that. So I, you notice I created a current event. So it's going to pop up inside the casting uh, menu. So I'm going, going to go back, uh, going into Google Meet again. Uh, and then in here, I'm going to refresh the screen. I should be able to see a meeting there. Oops. Ah, sorry, it's one more step which I haven't done yet. So I'm going to go in there. I forgot to set a meeting link. Okay, well, we make mistakes. So in here, you see at Google Meet video conferencing. I'm going to click that. And there you go. Now I've got the meeting set up. I'm going to save that. 
Now, if I want to go back into my meeting room, I should see my meeting there. Now, let's launch that meeting. Let's join that meeting. Now, in the meeting here, let's join this. Alright, I'm going to join the meeting. Okay, so let's wait for the meeting to join. Okay, now the meeting is up and running. Now I'm going to make sure that I've got the video settings on. Now currently it's on my um, second camera. I'm going to change my camera settings, which is uh, going to be um, at the... So it doesn't matter. So I'm going to, just to make sure that I've got a meeting camera. It's a FaceTime camera. All right, so that's it. So now I'm going to put a meeting inside here. So it's done. I'm going to go back into the YouTube video which I want to put inside that meeting. And I'm going to click that cast button. That's right. There you go. And notice it comes up demo video casting Google Meets. So I'm going to click that. Now it's already enabled. If I were to basically go into the meeting meeting room, I should see uh, the meeting right there. Come on. It take a while. There you go. So the meeting is all set up. The video is all set up. So now I've got myself there. Now, next thing you need to do is run the video to show that you have video and audio running at the same time. I do apologize for the lag because um, my network's a bit busy. So I've run that already. Going back to the meeting. where lawmakers were debating an extension of Governor okay. Gretchen Whitmer's state of emergency. So the video, Many of them were the armed, a state police Sorry spokesman told lag, NBC News. It is legal in Michigan to carry firearms as long as it is done with lawful intent and the weapon is visible. Actually, uh, Local cost, Senator uh, Dana Polhanke uh, was there and uh, tweeted uh, this same. photograph praising the sergeants so at arms who were real, blocking protesters time, from getting in. Not, Lawmakers have decided so not to extend uh, the state of emergency for 28 days, which removes the ability for Governor Whitmer work. to use her emergency powers to use executive orders during a crisis. Reverend Sharpton, so stunning images out of the state of Michigan. We should uh, say again, we've been saying for a couple of weeks that this is a very small group of protesters. Exactly most gun owners I talked so to yesterday, so most gun owners on social uh, media said they would never and, uh, carry an AR-15 and try to break in we'll to the legislature in their state tomorrow. capital. But there you have it. Those are the protesters who Donald Trump once said, let's liberate the state. Nor have we heard uh, the president.